ever since he was a puppy. <laughs> Dramatic death, <laughs> and he's alive. <laughs> Little Izzy, little Shrimpy. Got Mr. Helio there. And we got Dylan. And myself. And how you been going with stuff, bro? Yeah, good, loving it. Absolutely yeah. loving it. So I've been coming out uh, a little bit more frequently at the moment. Yep, for uh, training. For training and occasionally coming up doing bits and pieces of the daycare. Yeah. Um, so I'll be driving the bus tomorrow mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> And you'll start seeing me at the daycare a little bit more frequently. No, so, that's very nice. Kings Bean. We love that. It's just beautiful. Like, look, look, look at this. How you come to work and that's your view. Um, I'm pretty stoked every day. Hello, Izzy girl. The so Izzy actually does training with me and her mom, obviously, Selena. And she's just the sweetest little girl. Hi, Miss Izzy. We are out here for Tuesday daycare. Been a pretty productive morning so far. So Will is staying here while Bree is on holidays. She's in Melbourne seeing her goddaughter. She's very cute. I've only seen photos. So Emma is actually driving the bus today. So pretty much most of the gang out here. We had two border collies for their first day assessment, and unfortunately they weren't suitable. So uh, not everything is sunshine and rainbows. Um, sometimes. Dogs just don't suit. They were beautiful dogs, but they just haven't really been around dogs. So they had a few undesirable behaviors like growling and barking and just a bit uncertain on what to do in the situation. So they will be doing some training with us. We're supposed to have two other dogs start today, but uh, they're gonna start next week. Um, and then we have a little Maltese on the bus. Bailey, so we already have a Bailey. So this is Bailey L and he's a Maltese. And Helio there, that little guy. Hi, mister. He is actually boarding with us tonight. He's doing a one boarding night tonight with us in preparation for um, a couple of weeks soon. So it's a really good way to just get them used to the environment. He already knows the daycare. And he already knows the inside of the training facility, like the back of his hand, back of his paw. <laughs> it's good for him to just see like a bit of a dry run on what's going to happen. Yeah, we love Helio. He's just, I cannot believe the difference in him. He just did so well and he's loving being out here with their dogs. This is Bailey. <laughs> he's very dirty. So yeah, 10 minutes he's been in. So Emma, come on over here, girl. So Emma drove the bus this morning. How was it? it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it was really cool. I haven't, um, I don't think I'll be do ever doing that, but it uh, seems like fun. It is and fun. And talking to all the owners. And They're so cool. Then a big old bus driver doing the bus wave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hi. all the bus drivers like wave at you. That's how you know it's official. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bailey, come on, come on, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you're just loving it, aren't you, mister? Hi. Hello. He's so cute. So you can see there's all different sizes and breeds of dogs in here. Doesn't matter if they're little babies like that or the big shepherd. We make sure that they're all confident and courteous to each other. And yeah, Bailey's just killing on his first day. He's so confident for his size, which is great. Again, you're just waiting for cuddles, aren't you, Gilly? Hmm? You're just waiting for cuddles. Sweet girl. So we go. So in the spirit of everyone wanting to get to know the dogs a bit better, we thought we'd conduct personality interviews. So today I have with me Izzy and Ziggy. Hi Ziggy. So Izzy, what made you decide to want to be a really good girl? Interesting, interesting. Um, Izzy is one of our border collies that comes out weekly. She's the biggest sweetheart in the entire world. Like she literally will just one pats and loving the entire day. She's so, so, so lovely. You're a very good girl. Very good. Appreciate it. Thank you for your time today. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Second interview, we have Helio. Hi, Helio. Now, would you like to tell our audience uh, about all this freedom that you're enjoying now that you're a good boy and you've learned your manners? So, Helio is newly reformed. He's a new addition to the Good Boy Club. Um, he's come such a long way and now he gets to be out here running around with all these other dogs. Hey, getting more and more confident each visit. He's a really, really good boy, aren't you, Blake? Good boy, good boy. <laughs> the tiny dogs took over daycare. <laughs> so at the moment, I am here with Oscar. He is one of our Kelpies and he's a little mad at me because I've stolen him away from just running around and doing laps all day. I'm here with Pearly. She is a cattle cross, as far as I believe. Are you just a cattle dog? Don't actually know. You've got a lovely little stumpy tail there. 
She's very, very, very sweet. She normally spends all day running around with the Kelpies and the Collies and very, very rarely actually stops. Bless her, she's so full of energy and such a lovely, sweet girl. So this is Bella. Bella is another one of our Border Collies. She's also gonna be mad at me because she's very hard to catch while she's just running around having the best time all day. Hey honey, would you like to tell us your favorite part about being at daycare? Is it the leaves? It's the leaves, isn't it? You do love the leaves. Apparently leaves are a thing for Bellas. Uh, Bellas love leaves. <laughs> Thank you for your time today, Bella. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Arthur, yes, the German and Shepherd. Arthur's mother. Oh, sorry, and Haley, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the way from Sydney. Dang, uh, so we've got Arthur here for a trainer board. He's here for about a week. Yeah. Yep, and he's been here uh, once before, uh, and he did a pretty long stay while uh, Haley was overseas. Where'd you, where'd you go? Holidays. To Malta. Ooh, that's no, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we did a, a fair bit of training with him back then. What were some of his issues back then when you um, handed him over to us? Walking, pulling on the lead, yeah. and um, yeah, just obedience as well. Yep, so lacking obedience as yeah. well. Yeah. Since we've seen you guys next, uh, sorry, last time, what has changed? Um, he became a little bit reactive to other dogs and he yeah. got worse pulling on the lead. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. So we're going to start to get on top of that today. Yeah. Um, we actually have been talking and introducing Arthur into e-collars. I know um, there's probably going to be some people <laughs> frowning right now. A little now. bit of controversy. <laughs> um, a lot of people are generally uneducated uh, about these things. Mm. I've been using these for a very long time with our military working dogs. I use it with my dog Dude for obedience training and um, having uh, faith in my dog off lead. And 100% control. <laughs> exactly. So it's all about having that control. But it's all about using these on the lowest uh, levels. Mm. So. Before I show, I was talking about the e-collars with Haley and showing them how they work and how we want to keep our dogs on the lowest level it? there is. So what I did is I put it on her wrist and we went up the levels. And that's standard for everyone. If you're going to use it, you have to put it on yourself so you know how it feels. We went up the levels and didn't really feel much for the first few. No. First one, I didn't even feel it. Yeah, Can I you didn't feel either. It? Yep, level two. Could just mm, feel it. Just there a you go. Like a just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, level three. Felt something, yeah, very slight. Yep, and then level four, starting to yeah, feel a little bit more. A little bit more. Mm. What level is your dog on right now? Level one. <laughs> and he's All very right. responsive to it. He's yeah. very responsive uh, at the lowest level there is. And like I said before, I use a, an e collar on my dog, and he works on the lowest level that there is on this collar. There's many purposes for an e collar depending on how you're going to use it. Mm. Um, if you're going to use it in the military setting, the police setting, the hunting setting, obedience, uh, even behavioral sort of stuff, there's many ways that uh, you you can use it. Who's right or wrong? Probably no one, <laughs> all right? But as long as you're using it in a very humane way, yeah. um, then you know, it's, it's all good. Pretty popular um, in America, yeah. They're very popular <laughs> in America. Um, not so much here, um, but they are uh, a very great tool and I love using them. So the tone, uh, which Arthur doesn't know yet, but we're gonna um, teach him that process. But with my dog, the tone means to lay down no matter where he is, uh, no matter where he is. So every time I beep it, he knows as soon as that beeps, he must lay down in position. Mm -hmm. uh, the vibrate uh, function is teaching my dog he has to return to heel position, uh, no matter where he is. All right, Fancy. so again, I have that control uh, of my dog and that understanding. So I call it a, a communication collar. We're in the army, a tactical communication collar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no big deal. Yeah, some fancy words. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just a bloody e-collar that anyone can buy off the shelf. Mm. Uh, there's nothing uh, special about him. As you can see, is he stressed? <laughs> is he whinging? Is he running for the hills? Is he carrying on? Is he cowering? No, he is not. Okay. So a lot of people that talk about these generally have no idea what the hell they're doing. They've <laughs> never actually used one, been taught how to use them, or have one in their hand. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Learn it from the best, huh? Yes, <laughs> cool. Exactly. So we'll probably do another video a little bit more in depth uh, oh, yeah. on these. Um, <laughs> Just to sort of, um, you know, show the haters what it's all and, uh, about. Okay. Yeah, let us know what you think in the comments about e collars, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Quinny! You are your little Little guy! We've got Ella out here today. Um, so, welcome. Hello. Hello. What have you been doing with Will? Um, been doing some work with a couple of the German Shepherds we have here at the moment. Boarding. Oh, the boarding trains? Yeah, yep. so getting some more um, dog handling skill experience, nice. which I'm super excited And uh, about. Ella will be coming with me on Friday to do, we've got four in-homes. So yeah, Ella's really um, 
I guess putting in the hours and yeah, she's coming out here, putting it into second gear or fifth gear, who knows, <laughs> um, with her journey. So yeah, I'm really stoked to bring her along to my sessions. And yeah, it's good to see them um, working with the board and trains. Do you had one of the board and trains too? Yes. Who yeah, did you I was have? Working, working with Biggie for a little bit. Yep. Um, I was also out here on Thursday and Friday working with Arthur a little bit. Mm. And, and you had also... Arthur today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Arthur. <laughs> and was what, what was your opinions on Arthur? Very strong headed. Yeah, yeah. Um, very strong headed. Very whingy. Yep. Mm. Big, big sook. But, um, natural shepherd instincts. Yeah, yeah, natural shepherd. But no, nah, he's actually a really good boy. Um, yeah. Even just with what we're doing well today, he's doing with all really, the well. Yeah, mm. really, really well. Oh, Australia, <laughs> do you want any tricks for us or the dreams. camera? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Okay. So Stride has this weird obsession with grass. Okay? I've seen you in your so videos you use grass. you pick it up and you throw it and he's just <laughs> obsessed with it. Give okay? him a little trick. <laughs> he's so... He's so... Um, I don't know. What do you want him to do? Get him to go through your legs. Can you do that? He wants to go into heel. Okay. <gasps> legs. Lana, get out of the way. Legs. 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 Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> he's too excited. Yeah. He's a grass. Circle. Good boy. He's too excited. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> he, he does the, if he'll do it, you know, when you shoot them and they. Bang. Dramatic death, <laughs> and he's alive. Ready? <laughs> he wasn't Bang. fatal. Bang. 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 He's too excited for it. Man, he loves grass, he's doesn't he? Yeah, he's obsessed with it. <laughs> he's done that ever since he was a puppy. <laughs> Free. <laughs> All right, it is the afternoon and we are back in the small yard, closer to the shed. So I'm exhausted and the dogs are exhausted. So we've got a few of them just laying down over there. So all our working breeds are yeah pretty much done for. Tune in tomorrow, we've got a different pack. So it's always good to see the different dogs and you guys wanted to meet more of them. So we will do some more interviews with the dogs and see what they think about it. But um. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, YouTube fam. Uh, it is Wednesday. It is 7.20 in the morning and have a look. The fog we're experiencing. Pretty foggy. And it was like this all the way out here. Pretty rare. Usually you get to like lows in like the dips of the roads where it's kind of foggy. The whole entire way was foggy. Yeah, it should be a scorcher of a day. <laughs> We've got 20 dogs. We've got no newbies. Bailey, who was with us yesterday, did just such an awesome job at blending in. He was so chill. Very cool guy. Shrimpy's just chilling. He's having a sniff. You can see him in his little hive's vest. <laughs> so we actually got that from the cheap shop. Uh, we thought it was cute because it looked like a construction worker. <laughs> And he does, he's definitely a construction worker. I know what he's constructing, but he's working, he's working hard. Morning, so we have just our local drop-offs and our dogs this morning, and Wolf's just doing some training with one of his clients, as you can hear. <laughs> um, it's quite foggy today, so it's a nice day though. I'm pretty sure the sun will come out soon. The bus should be due to arrive soon, so yeah, let the fun begin. Oh, go fast, go fast. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll bloody do a hemi. <laughs> Good boys. All the dogs made it. Good puppies. These guys have just been having a great day. It's such a good time. Hi, Mai Mai. So this is Maya. Maya's one of our OGs. She's a Kelpie Husky. Hi. My little husky girl. And I've got a big soft spot for Maya. So yeah, she's a gangster. You guys already know Juno. I introduced her in another one. Wow, you guys. Here's Richie Rich. Hello, mister. So Richie is actually a rescue. Um, he has stayed with us for boarding. Absolutely loves it. Just all around good fella. Hi. Hi, Ziggy. And this little guy, this wet little guy here. Hi, Zig. So Ziggy is actually my friend's dog. You guys would have already seen him in the vlog hi oh big shakes big shakes he comes to daycare tuesday and wednesday get that border collie energy out as you can see <laughs> yeah hope you are having a lovely day wherever you are um, it was really foggy here this morning but now blue skies baby literally not a cloud in the sky 
All right, dogs have gone home in the bus and the local pickups are just chilling and waiting. So yeah, we have had a massive day and the kids are all tired. Um, we didn't really have any motorbike or we were gonna bring the drone out, but they're a pretty hectic pack, so we didn't want to get the arousal too high. So, yeah. Good morning. So we have two newbies today, Olive and Kobe. Olive is a beautiful Dalmatian. Just there, getting some cuddles. And then we've got Kobe, which is our little border collie here. Hi, mister. Hi. Hi, Kobe. So, Kobe and Olive are absolutely loving it. Now, Olive is actually completely, well, nearly completely deaf. We're going to just act like she's completely deaf. Um, so she actually has an e-collar and this one um, her vibrate is to come back um, I don't think we use the stimulation really. We don't really need it unless she's you know doing something that's unacceptable um, And obviously the tone's not gonna really work for her So this is where e-collars are really important because without this I wouldn't be able to maintain or control her Therefore I could not keep her safe. So she's an absolute darling. She's just loving it Hey, just loving it so yeah, big fan of her. And this is her first time out at doggy daycare deployment. So she's on her assessment day and her little brother Kobe has never been to daycare before. So he's only six months old. He's a little less confident than she is, but still very confident. Love and shrimp at the moment. <laughs> hi, hi, hello, hello. <laughs> Ma'am, hello. Beautiful spotty girl, hey. Hey, hello. Hello. What are you doing at the heck? And Bella, you're back out at daycare, yeah? Yeah. And you've got a shirt and hat. Yes. Nice. I mean, Bella is definitely part of the team already. So now <laughs> it's just official. <laughs> yep. So you'll be helping us out at daycare today. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So Bree's actually gone to the doctor. She's got a sore foot. This woman is just constantly in the wars. Love that for her. <laughs> Bell stand on it. <laughs> we'll be here to support her, um, but Lord. Yep. <laughs> you to two more of our new doggy daycare dogs that have come in today, Bagel and Burley. Uh, they've both so far passed their assessment. So this here is Mr. Burley. Hi, Burley. Bit of an older fella. Hey, loving his time here so far. And then over here, the more energetic one, we have a Bagel. Hi, buddy. Hi. So these two are together, so far, absolutely loving it. How you going, buddy? So this is Bagel. Bagel like cream cheese. And then Burley like the beach. Hey? I'm just gonna go and check on the two newbies, Bagel and Burley. Now I've spotted them over here cooling off. Let's take a look. Oh, you know, boys. Find the water. Hey, just find the water. I think this one's nicer. Yeah, it's on this side. Steady. Go. Emma and I are just going to go and check up on, like I mentioned earlier, our two, four of our newbies actually. So we have Olive, our deaf Dalmatian, and Kobe, our little six month quarter collie pup. So these two just over here, playing with Danny the Beagle. And then we have our other two newbies, 
right back where we caught them before. Hi, boys. Hi, Bagel. Hi, darling. Hi. He's very confident. Isn't he? This is our new fella, Kobe. He's loving Quinn at the moment. Aren't ya? Here we go. Little dog with little dog, huh? Match made in heaven. <laughs> He's very confident for a little fella, which is nice to see. Alrighty, so it's about two o'clock. Some of the dogs are starting to settle a little bit now. This is Kobe and Olive having a bit of a break for the afternoon. So they've both been doing really, really well today. The little fella is super duper confident, which is good. Bagel over here, nice and energetic still, aren't you buddy? Huh? Making friends, making friends. He's playing with Pearly. He's been obsessed with Pearly all day today. So again, all in all, great day for these four. Um, they're gonna fit in quite nice with the rest of the pack, which is lovely. So we'll keep you updated on how these guys go.